Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds. Now, today we're at everybody's favorite secret thrift store, and I got a bag of junk jewelry and some watches. So, um, some of these watches are quite nice. I think you guys are going to like this. Um, if you could please like, comment, subscribe, trying to hit a thousand subscribers. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Also, if you see anything you like, it's all for sale on my Etsy store. Link in the comments. So, first watch we have is a Tanav Tavanis Art Deco style watch. Broken five bucks. This one, yeah, movement or it's main springs busted. But um, I looked this up working. This is a couple hundred dollar watch. Next, we have a Bulova. Um. This one says it was broken. It's gold filled. Um, I wound it up. It's ticking. Um, I'll see if it keeps good time. I think this one's fine. They probably just thought the battery was dead. Next up, we have a Zodiac. Um, these are quite rare watches, ladies. Um, this has an ETA quartz movement. It's missing the stem. But I think I can get a new stem. Hopefully this will work. And this is probably, you know, three, four hundred dollar watch. Um, some of you guys said my prices are a bit high. Uh, you know, everything's a best guess. I've never sold a Zodiac. I've never owned a Zodiac. So um, best guess. If you guys disagree, please let me know in the comments. Next up, this watch is the find of the day. If you see. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see, let me zoom in. That is 9 carat 375. Um, you can see it probably better here. If I... 375. Um... Everything looks okay on the watch. Um, I went through it. It ticks, it stops, it ticks, it stops. Um, I can probably get it going. And, you know, that again is probably going to be a couple hundred dollar watch. So that is a good score. So those are the watches. Um... They're going to be a little bit of a project, but I knew it when I... Whenever you buy old watches, they tend to be a little bit of a project. Now, the main attraction, the big boy. Let's jump right into it. This is from my favorite thrift store. We always get lucky on these ones. $20 investment. Let's go for the watch first. Do my. Okay, those were sold through the um, Hudson's Bay Company, like a private label. Uh, strap's broken, but still, you know, I can fix the strap. And that's not going to be a high, high value watch, but, you know, a couple dollars. What's this going to be? Just a clip. This looks like almost a ring. Just costume jewelry. Now let's see. Bangle. Uh, yeah, just another old bangle. Those can be silver, but quite rare. Nice piece of maybe quartz. Let's see, let's see. Costume jewelry. More just costume jewelry. Oh, what's this? Always good to look. Nice and slow. Costume jewelry. Here we go. 
this says, what does this say? 98. We will test this. I think this is a bracelet. We will test it just to, I think it's gold. Oh, sorry, silver, silver. Let's see, let's look at this. Always look at these, these can be gold. Nothing. Now, what's this? This delicate piece of jewelry caught my eye. Oh, it's just nice and slow, because see this. Looks like silver. Here we go. Yep. 925. And I think we're, every time we always get caught up on something. That's the rule of these bags. Uh, there we go. Nice little chunk of silver. Now silver is good, but we want gold. Hair clip. Junk jewelry. More junk. What's that? Junk jewelry. We have two of these earrings. These caught my eye. Hmm. Mark Sterling right there. Good. So that's going to be a little bit of money. Banana Republic. Not interested in that. More junk jewelry. Hmm. Little ring. Oh, oh, ALE. That is ALE Pandora. That is a nice little sterling ring. That alone is probably going to be a $40 ring. So this jewelry bag is not too bad too far. These guys you got to be careful with. These can often be gold. So you always want to look. And yeah, this guy's not gold. I find, you know, the little things are usually the ones that are gold. So every time I get a small item, I always double, triple check. And, you know, we all get fooled because even something like this is probably silver. Uh, maybe? I think that's silver. And see, something like this could even be gold. So we gotta... Yeah, it's just junk. See, this is quite shiny. Maybe a toe ring? But we always want to go nice and slow. Nothing. Kind of a cool piece. It's like a uh, copper bracelet. And I think, yeah, this would just... 
Then hook, I might sell this on my Etsy for like 30 bucks. That's kind of neat. Just costume jewelry. But whenever you do these, you just want to take your time. It's quite relaxing. Look through every little part. Because if something's big gold, chances are they're going to find it. Because see, these are earrings, I believe. Now let's see, is there any markings on these anywhere? Nope. Nope. Because the thrift stores, they just throw the stuff in here. There's no care whatsoever for any of the items. But see this? If I can get it. Here we go. Like I said, this will always stick together. I see this is connected like that, like that. This is silver. Yep, yeah, 925. Nail clippers, that should not be in there. A lot of the times you do find quite random stuff in here. But really, those nail clippers just should have gone right in the garbage. Oh, here we go. Uh, see this, it looks like gold. Let me pull up my loop. That's a tough one because I can see a 10. That's a tough one. I don't know. It's almost as little, like it looks like a 10. I will have to test that just to be sure. Wouldn't it be nice if this is real? This would make my day if this was real. Look at that. Yeah, but this is just costume jewelry. Big, big chain. And like I said before, all the stuff I don't use, I have a friend with a thrift store, I donate to him, he sells it. So it's good, nothing here goes to waste, except, you know, those nail clippers or anything that's large and broken. Jesus 2000. Let's see, like this. This could be something good. No. There's just so much in these bags. Little ring. Just plated. J. Crew. I got excited for a sec until I saw it was J. Crew. Wow. These are like rubber earrings. Uh, see, look at this. 
There is such a thing as rose gold, but that is not. Now what's this? Okay, this caught my eye. What are you gonna be? That's gonna be silver. I don't see the marking. But I don't know if that's, I don't know what that is. It must be an anklet. Oh yeah, right there says 925. Because I buy these from all different thrift stores. I don't know what it is, but this thrift store, theirs has to be the biggest mess. Maybe because they throw so much in? I don't know. It's this. I'm 99% sure that's not gold, but I'm just going to test that just to be sure. Because sometimes high carat gold can look that color, and sometimes it's not stamped. I've had that several times, so I will double check that. It's always good to check and it not be, than to not check and lose it. A little bit of 925. Yeah, we saw another one of these. This has a marking. Yeah, that is 925. No, I threw one of those out. I missed that marking. And here it is. So I'm glad that I caught that on the second one. That's why I always double and triple check this. Now, what's this? An earring? Nothing. Nothing. You can guys just see just the mound of stuff that comes in these bags. Oh. Ah, found a, a bag with some rings. Uh, these two rings are nothing. This one. I feel confident that's sterling. Uh, you know, everything gets tested, but I, I'll, at the end, you know, we'll test everything, but I would be shocked if that's not sterling. Okay. Okay, we are back, just taking a short break. As we can see, most of this is just junk jewelry I was hoping to get this done a little bit quicker however these videos always take a while when this stuff's this packed in there you have to go through each item with just a fine tooth comb These are magnets. Like I said, every time there's always random stuff. And if it sticks to a magnet, it's not precious metal. I do appreciate how full they send these things. Wow, more magnets. Nine two five. I didn't realize this. Go 
don't know why they sent so many magnets in here. Here's another one of these earrings. Another magnet. This could be good. Nope. Oh, here we go. I forget the name of that stone, but Yep, yeah, 925 Thailand. Paradise? Wow, that's a nice one. Fossil. Junk ring. Junk earring. Hearing John Gearing, what's this? Junk ring. Uh, yep, nine two five. Hope I find the other one of those earrings. That's quite nice. Now we just have this mound of things to look through. Uh, issue is it's just so congealed together. This video is going to be a little bit longer than I want to apologize. Just this is so tangled. Not a lot I can do. One twentieth. Probably gonna be for the watch that broke. Probably broke, then fell on the ground. This threw it in here. Oh, here we go. This is a nice little find. This says 750. 18 karat gold right there. That earring back. The earring's not. The back is. These are like 30, 40 dollars US each. So that is a good little find, that is. People laugh at me because I collect those. But when they add up like that, 
I will take those any day. Whenever I go into thrift stores, I always look for those in the back. The earrings. Well, look at this. That could almost be rose gold. Every time I go into thrift stores, I always look. At the back of the earrings, because you never know what you're going to get. Now let's just see if there's anything. I don't think there's anything left. So what I'm going to do is we're, we're going to stop the video. Then I'm going to show you guys the finds. And I'll show you guys if there's anything else in this whole ball of jewelry. So we'll be back in a so, second. So it took me like an extra half hour to get through all that. It was one big tangled up mess. But I did get this. This is sterling. It's from a company called Wood Keeps. You know, I'm sure it's probably going to be $30. Kind of cool. And also I got this. I don't know how long it is. Like four feet. But as we can see, it's marked 925. And I did test this. And it is silver. Um, these two, not real gold. Didn't think so. This, not real gold. Tested it. The earring back, 750 that's real gold. I did test that. We got a couple scrap earrings, a um, couple necklaces. Um, these rings are real silver. I think this is called a labyrinth, if I remember right. But still, that's a $40 ring. Got these two. I think this is a... Um, is this two separate... Things. So I think this is, yeah, like a uh, bracelet, sterling, small necklace, Pandora ring over here, um, these earrings, this necklace. So, you know, when I fix this up, sell it on my Etsy, probably going to get a couple hundred dollars. So not bad for a $20 investment. Thanks. Sorry again for the lengths. See you on the next one.